One of the questions that remained unanswered at the end of Game of Thrones was why Drogon did not end Jon Snow's life after he finished off Daenerys. Could it be that the Targaryen blood gave Jon some kind of protection, or is there an even bigger hidden mystery? Could it be that Bran has something to do with what happened? In this video we'll be explaining the reasons why Drogon didn't end Jon's life. And if you want to know everything related to the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. After Tyrion convinces Jon Snow to end the life of Daenerys, he decides to betray the Mother of Dragons to somehow save his sisters. There is a very strong connection between dragons and their riders, even stronger between a dragon that has been born thanks to its rider. According to the Targaryen tradition, when they are born, a dragon egg is placed by the baby's feet, so the connection that is created between the newborn baby and the egg allows these creatures to be hatched. The magic between a Targaryen and its dragon is extremely important for the development of these creatures. Dragons are able to sense the suffering of their rider, as happened with Rhaenyra during the birthing episode in the House of the Dragon. We saw how Cyrax moaned in pain, as did Rhaenyra. <laughs> we also saw how Caraxes behaved similar to Daemon. So we can say for sure that Drogon felt when Daenerys was betrayed. He felt all of her negative and positive emotions. This leaves us with the question of why Drogon did not end Jon's life. Why did he turn all his hatred against the Iron Throne? What really happened in this scene? There are multiple explanations in order to understand what happened here. The first explanation is that Daenerys did not want to take Jon's life. When Daenerys was betrayed by Snow, possibly she began to think how the throne has cost her everything, how she lost her family, her friends, and now also had lost her love. Possibly, in the last moments of life, Daenerys did not hate Jon Snow as much as she hated the throne. As she knew because of that throne, she lost everything. This may be one of the reasons Drogon did not burn Jon Snow. Perhaps Daenerys wasn't even blaming Jon for what he did, but rather her deep desire for nobody else to sit on that throne was what Drogon felt, and that's why he decided to destroy it. Remember that Daenerys had already mentioned she wanted to break the wheel. On it spins, crushing those on the ground. They're all just spokes on a wheel. Stopping the wheel. It's a beautiful dream. I'm not going to stop the wheel. I'm going to break the wheel. Possibly Drogon was venting all those frustrations Daenerys felt at the end of her life. The second explanation as to why Drogon did not end Jon's life is because of Jon's lineage. Jon Snow is the son of Rhaegar Targaryen and Lyanna Stark. He carries dragon blood. We saw how in one of the scenes Jon touched Drogon and we even saw him flying a dragon. This could mean that Jon made an emotional and magical connection with these dragons, taking advantage of his lineage and using this ability to his advantage. Of course, other dragons have finished off other Targaryen, as was the case of Vagar with Lucerys, but Lucerys had never approached that dragon. He had not created any emotional connection with it. So we can say that one of the reasons why Drogon did not finish off Jon is because it already knew him, and possibly because they already had this connection between rider and dragon. This could also mean this connection between the two has not disappeared, and Jon could go in search of Drogon in his own series. Now there is a much darker reason and it could mean that behind Drogon's actions, there is something more than what we first thought. As we have already mentioned in previous videos, the Three-Eyed Raven, that is, Bran the Broken, thanks to his visions managed to manipulate multiple people to become king. Bran may have influenced the dragon's mind to help him become king. Bran knew that Jon was the true heir to the throne, 
and he knew that Daenerys had gone mad. In the visions Bran has, we can see how Bran sees the dragon's shadow passing over King's Landing. Although we could say that the Raven did not control Drogon's mind during the attack, we do know that Bran saw Daenerys's attack in his visions and said nothing, possibly because keeping this information to himself would help him become king. But the theory that brings us here is the possibility that Bran could have controlled Drogon's mind to destroy the Iron Throne. Bran has the ability not only to control his direwolf, but he also demonstrated an ability beyond that by controlling Hodor's mind. If Bran can see the past, present and future, control animals and humans, there is no reason why he cannot control a dragon. One evidence that can support this hypothesis is the fact that we saw the Night King resurrecting and controlling one of Daenerys's dragons that had lost its life, and as we already established in a previous video, the Night King shares many abilities with Bran since he was created by the Children of the Forest, and they were helping the Three-Eyed Raven. If Bran controlled Drogon's mind at that time, it could explain why Jon survived. Bran could have controlled the dragon's mind to destroy the Iron Throne, as this way they would not be limited to one person who can literally sit on this place. As long as there is an Iron Throne, they will need a person to be placed on it. The destruction of the Iron Throne led Tyrion to think about a new option. Bran comes to the table for consideration because the throne was destroyed and because Daenerys lost her life. The Iron Throne was the symbol of Targaryen power, and with this destruction, a Stark can become king. In my opinion, the reason Drogon didn't finish Jon Snow is because he already had a magical connection with Jon, and because Daenerys felt more contempt for the throne than for Snow's actions. But tell me what do you think? Why do you think Drogon let Jon Snow live? Before I wrap up this video, I want to let you know that the videos on this channel are based on both the Game of Thrones and the House of the Dragon series, as well as the books by George Martin. If you want to learn more about this universe, I'm going to leave you our affiliate link in the description, where you can order the books or their audible version. And if you like the official t-shirts of this channel, you will also find the link to our store to order your favorite piece. Thank you for your support. And if you like this content, I invite you to become a member of this channel. Each contributor will see their name at the end of all videos. And for more videos with theories, news, and stories from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on. The Three-Eyed Raven.